but we finally have Kamala Harris announcing her VP candidate, and it's, uh, it's the governor of uh, Minnesota, of all people. Uh, not somebody on the short list originally, certainly not on the short list I saw uh, originally. Uh, it, 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 uh, he is Waltz, I think his name, Waltz. Um, uh, but he, I guess in the last week or so, suddenly popped up on the lists and suddenly started appearing as a possibility. Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't understand politics. I don't understand their considerations. I don't understand what they're thinking. But as an outsider who doesn't really have much at stake here and, and is not particularly supportive of either, not at all supportive of either one of these candidates, I really just don't get it, right? I just don't get it. it, it you know, um, it seemed to me that you needed somebody from a swing state, uh, somebody who could help at least win their state, you know, the idea of getting somebody from Minnesota, she's got Minnesota. What's Minnesota going to go, vote Republican? I mean, that's very, very unusual, very, very rare, and very, very unlikely. She's, she's leading in the polls dramatically. Waltz is the governor of Minnesota. Uh, so it's, it's very unlikely she loses Minnesota. She doesn't need help in Minnesota. Now, supposedly, he's a Midwestern. He was born in Nebraska, and he might be able to help in, I don't know, Michigan and Wisconsin, where, where she, she really needs to win. She certainly needs to win Michigan. Um, but, you know, that's pure speculation. He's a plain-speaking, working-class, background-type uh, politician, and supposedly that is going to, uh, that is going to help her. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. The other, she's given up. Um, she's given up on the governor. Uh, she, she passed on the governor of, of Pennsylvania for, for a number of reasons we'll get to in a minute. But... She needs Pennsylvania. She can't win. She can't win the presidency without Pennsylvania. I mean, that should have been the deciding factor. He's an incredibly popular governor. He's leading by, you know, he won by 14 points, and he's po more popular now than when he was elected. Um, he should have been the slam dunk candidate. He should have been the guy she went with, and it, 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 it really surprises me. It, it, it would be good for her to win Arizona, um, and she passed on the senator from Arizona. Uh, uh, and yeah, so I don't get it. I, I, you know, to me, that, that should be the only thing that counts if I was running. Uh, everything else should be secondary. The other thing that the uh, senator from Arizona and the governor of Pennsylvania do for her is they are both real, not pretend, but real centrists. That's my light falling off. Uh, let me try to replace it. We'll see how uh, we'll see how long that lasts. If it falls off, I know a way of sticking it on more solidly. Um, they're both solid centrists, and it, it would have sent clear message that she is moving to the center. She is going to be lamb blasted and attacked by Trump to, to a large extent, justifiably, as being and 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 supporting real leftist causes way out there on the left. Uh, she has a reputation of, of, of being tough, probably not being too friendly to Israel. Uh, and, uh, and I think what she really needed to show up is not her left. Where's her left going to go? The left's not going to go anywhere. What she really needed to show up is the center and moderate Republicans. I think Shapiro in, in Pennsylvania and, and Kelly from Arizona could have done that. Could have done it. Could have shown up the, 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 like the Never Trumpers or the, or the Independents or the swing voters, the people who are not sure, who she needs. Walsh does not do that. He is a leftist. He is a progressive. He is from a progressive state, Minnesota. He, uh, he was governor uh, when the riots happened in 2020. He did not exactly exude uh, law and order, right? Uh, he is known as being quite progressive in his attitudes. And it just, it doesn't give her anything. Now, rumors have it that she didn't pick Shapiro from Pennsylvania because he's, quote, too ambitious. She was afraid he would try to undermine her, undercut her, try to steal the spotlight, 
and promote himself. Now, maybe there's something there, and, and surely you want to pick a, a, a VP candidate that you get along with, I guess, uh, although I don't know how often the president sees the vice president, so I don't know how important that is. But uh, Waltz is, is probably more subservient, would be more subservient, and I think ultimately that was the consideration. But it's kind of a super dumb consideration if you're in a tight race and one candidate has a, 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 a huge advantage over the other in terms of winning, which should be the only thing that matters to these people, you'd think. Maybe not, I guess. Um, so anyway, uh, Waltz is the VP candidate. Uh, Kamala um, is, has done very well in the polls so far. I, I haven't seen any polls post-announcement of the VP candidate, but I'm sure it didn't help her. I'm sure it didn't help her. It didn't add anything to her uh, uh, poll standing, whereas I think Shapiro or Kelly would have, would have actually helped her. We're going into the Democratic Convention soon here, and it, it's definitely going to be interesting to see uh, how all this gets positioned and, uh, and whether Kamala uh, can, can win, whether Trump can win, how Trump responds, whether there's a debate. There's still back and forth about whether there's going to be a debate. Trump won't do a debate on Kamala's terms. Kamala won't do a debate on Trump's terms. So, so far, right as of now, there's no debate. We will see where all that lands up. But uh, Kamala right now is leading Trump in some of the swing states. She's doing much better than Biden. Um, but I, I, I can't say, I, I mean, even though you guys know how anti-Trump I am, oh, God, I, you know, Kamala is terrible. She's terrible. I mean, she, she's... She's uh, very left on most important issues. Uh, and uh, and as, as I've said for, for a long time about her, she's very much a power luster. And this decision about the VP shows, I think, a real lack of judgment and a real lack of political acumen. Acumen? Acumen? I think it's acumen. Um, again, I, I think, right, what, given, given my understanding, of the way these kind of political decisions get made. So that is kind of domestic politics. We're, we're in this, we're, we're heading into the con Democratic Convention. She'll get a bump from that. And then Trump is just gonna, is just gonna uh, lay into her and, uh, you know, gonna try to crush her and demoralize her. And it will really boil down to, I, I, you know, the, the general, the perception that, that these two candidates, neither particularly liked Trump is hated by many, but I, I'm not sure that uh, the people who hate Trump are going to vote for Kamala. I, I just, I, I don't know. We, 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 will, it, we will just have to see um, how, how it all plays out. And usually my guess is about who wins presidential elections are wrong anyway, so uh, I, I wouldn't make too much of them. Um, yep. All right. Let's see. MSNBC said she should have chosen Shapiro. Ooh, MSNBC said that. That's pretty weird that MSNBC should say that. A MSNBC is more left than uh, most of the other channels. But yeah, I think they know what's going to get you elected and what's not. And what, what Kamala needs in order to get elected is people to the right of her. People, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, people who, who are moderate Republicans who don't want to vote for Trump or independents who don't want to vote for Trump, but don't want to vote for a leftist ticket either. They're not leftists. And, and choosing Shapiro would have, would have just sent a signal, a message, that, um, that we're not going to govern from the far left. The, the, the problem is that she... she probably didn't choose Shapiro, uh, Shapiro because of Israel, because he's too pro-Israel for her. Uh, Waltz is, is, is also pro-Israel, but, but likely to take a back seat to what, whatever Kamala Harris uh, proposes, uh, promotes, uh, endorses. I don't think he's uh, independent when it comes to issues like foreign policy.